hello friends welcome back to the channel in this video we are going to learn how we can set up our template in laravel and view so this is the template i, I have downloaded it and i will add the link in the description now let's see how we can add this to our view now let's go to our vs code and in here let's configure our template so the first thing that i will do after extracting this uh, template i will move the assets folder from my from this folder to our to my public folder so let's move it to our public folder the next thing that i will do is to come to my template folder and find the index file so let's find the index file and open this inside my vs codes Let's drag and drop this inside my VS Code file. Now let's copy all of them and put them inside my layouts and inside app.blade.php. Let's remove all of everything from here. Paste our index.index.html file here. Now we have to change all assets and add them inside blade assets so when we shift our project to the server we don't face any problem so i will type asset and inside the asset i will paste cut it from here and paste it here let's do this for this one also Now let's do it for all of them. okay so it's finished now let's go to our uh, welcome file and remove everything from here and type stands layouts dot app now let's go to browser and in here let's refresh our page so we can see the template without any problem now we have to separate the sidebars sidebar so it would be easy for us to configure it in the later so let's go and separate it to a different component or different file so back to vs code now in here i have two options either create a view component or a blade file i can do it with both so for me it would be easy to create a blade file and call it inside a dot blade dot php so let's go and create a new file with the name of sidebar dot blade dot php and enter and now let's go back to our app and find the sidebar okay here is the sidebar so i will cut it from here and paste it here in the sidebar.blade.php now inside app.blade.php in here i will type add include layouts dot sidebar okay now let's save this and go back to our browser let's refresh the page as you guys can see nothing changed and also we have moved all the sidebar codes to a separate file now it will be much easier for us to modify it in here now let's create two more files one for our footer and one for our navbar so i will type here footer.blade.php and let's cut everything from here
Okay, let's cut all the footer from here and paste it inside here. Now let's include this inside our app.play.php as include. Now let's uh, create one more file for our navbar. So I will type navbar.blade.php and inside. This is a my bar or top bar. Let's cut it from here and paste it here. Now include this one also inside my app.blade.php. Now let's save. Everything is uh, set. Now let's go to browser one more time. Refresh our page. To check everything is fine so everything is fine now let's uh, clear the content from here let's uh, remove everything from here and type add yield content now inside my welcome.play.php in here I will type add section then content now i will end this section so anything that i write here now it will be in the body of my template so i will for example i will type in here subscribe now if i go and refresh my page as you guys can see, it, the subscribe without e came. So now let's go and configure the view with our newly created template. So for, first of all, in the app.blade.php, in here I will warp everything with an inside a div and give it an ID of app. Let's warp all of them. Up to here with this uh, div and let's import the app.js from with so I will type with and inside array I will type resources slash js slash app.js this file now inside my sidebar inside here in the top in the state of this, let's remove this. I will type router dash link to slash and give it a text of home. One more for our, our about page. So I will type about and also display the about text. Now let's save this. And now let's go to our welcome blade in the state of this subscribe. I will type router view. So now if I save everything and go to browser, refresh the page. And if I click home, I see home page. And if I click about, I see about page. So this is the way we set up our template in Laravel and view.